Hi, I'm Colin from hdcctv.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to run through how to set up Xvision DVRs and NVRs to send out email alerts using a Gmail email account. This video presumes you've already set the recorder up on your network and have it working for remote access. If not, I cover how to set the recorder in a separate video linked on the screen now. Please watch that video first if your recorder is not yet set up before proceeding with this video. Okay, so now how to set up the email screen so the recorder sends out email notifications. This screen is a recorder directly connected to a monitor. I will show you how to use the um, remote software to make these changes later. Okay, so go to the main menu by right clicking anywhere on the screen and then left click on setup. You now see six blue menu selection buttons. On the network one is email. Click on that to go straight to the email setup screen. There are two screens on this page, email configuration and email schedule. Email configuration is where your email information is input and I'll go through that in a moment. An email schedule is a screen that allows you to program when the recorder will email you. For example, you may not want to receive emails all evening or overnight or weekends when you're at home. The scheduler lets you fully program each camera individually for each hour of the week. This is the email configuration screen. I've already filled out the information on the screen, but let me run through it. The first option is a tick box. This enables email sending and should be ticked. Encryption, levers auto, SMTP port 00465, SMTP server, smtp.gmail.com. The username is where you would input your own Gmail username. Password is where you put your Gmail password. Sender is your Gmail address that you're sending from, so just the, again, the Gmail address. Receiver 1, 2 and 3 are the three email addresses that will receive notifications from the recorder. And it is okay to use the same account to send and receive, so that's fine. Finally, interval. This is how long the interval is between sending one email and then another one. I leave mine set to three minutes. Once you've input the information and clicked apply in the bottom right corner, use the test email button to try out your settings. All being well, it will say email test successful and you will receive an email from the recorder that looks like this. The recorder will display error messages if the test fails. If the SMTP server information is wrong, the message says wrong server. If the email username or password is wrong, it displays username or password error. However, if you input the incorrect receiver address, you will get an email test successful message. However, no email will be received. Once you get an email test success message, the recorder is now set up to send out emails. When the recorder sends you a notification, it will include a snapshot and looks like this. You can then save or download the file to keep as evidence. Okay, now to do the same thing but with the remote control software XIQ CMS. Open the software and go to main view. Right click on your recorder icon on the left hand side and then select remote configuration. Now select the network tab and then select email. You'll now see a screen that's identical to the boxes on the one I showed you earlier. Input the same information and save. If you purchase this recorder from us and require further information, please contact us. Our details are in the, in the video description below. Thanks for watching.